Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Bergen. A water main break is creating a challenge for residents and businesses in southern Indiana tonight. WKY's Annalisa Gale is live in Jeffersonville. Steve, here in Jeffersonville on Spring Street, we know of at least one restaurant that had to close its doors due to the boil water advisory that's in effect. In effect, it's actually that restaurant that's at the corner there. But we know of thousands across southern Indiana that's also using that same caution. They got the kitchen window, and it's I see water running down the driveway, running across my yard, and I'm thinking, it ain't even raining. Where is it? You know, where is it coming from? So I come out the door and I see water bubbling up out of the ground. It's like that water Kenny Morris spotted this morning was rushing from a broken water main in front of his home on Stinger Lane. Just before noon Saturday, leaders with Indiana American Water were notified about the problem. It appears to be affecting about a five foot long section of the pipe. The pipe itself is a 36 inch diameter main that serves all of the uh, water system here in. Uh, in Jeffersonville and uh, Clarksville and New Albany. In his 30 years with Indiana American Water, William Reedy says this is the first time he has seen a water main break with such a large impact. Roughly 35,000 customers in Clark and Floyd counties are now being asked to boil their tap water for about three minutes before drinking and cooking with it, and also to restrict how much water they are using. In many cases, that it's it's only a street or a neighborhood that, that's affected by a water main break, but in this case, it being a transmission main. It's affecting the whole system. Morris hopes the pipe and his yard will soon go back to normal. Since he is not a customer with Indiana American Water, his water supply is not affected. Repairing the pipe could take several hours. But it's it's likely to take a number of hours, five or six hours, to uh, to cut out that section of pipe and replace it. So it, the work will last well into the evening. The concern is that eventually some customers could run out of water in New Albany. There's some risk of that because we're uh, we're we're working off the uh, the water that's stored in the tanks right now in the distribution system on the New Albany side. This this does affect our ability to deliver water to the west side of the system, west of Silver Creek. So uh, it's possible that there'll be low pressure areas and or areas of no water in New Albany, depending on how long it takes to restore service here to put this pipe back together. Steve, the cause of the water main break has not been determined. For updates on the boil water advisory, stay with WLKY on air and online. Live in Jeffersonville tonight, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY.